Alrighty, we're going to take a look at Infuse Learning as part of the formative assessment series here. And Infuse Learning is much like uh, Socrative that uh, we saw in the uh, first video, if you watched the first video. If not, uh, just go out to the Merved YouTube channel and you can finish or watch that uh, Socrative uh, walkthrough as well. But Infuse Learning, uh, very similar. Uh, you can use basically anything with a internet browser as a clicker. And so uh, students with smartphones that have internet browsers on them, iPads, uh, Kindles, Nooks, your uh, laptops, whatever, Chromebooks. And so as long as they have an internet browser, uh, this will work. And so what you need to do is you need to go up through the sign-up process. Um, and I'm not going to do that with you, but uh, if you need to do that, uh, feel free to hit pause here and sign up. And when you're uh, done signing up, just uh, hit play again. All right, for those of you that have already signed up or just signed up, uh, you go back, you can log in as your uh, teacher login. Just ask for your email and uh, password. And once you get in, your uh, dashboard looks like this. And so uh, if you're familiar with Socrative, it works uh, almost identical, um, pretty close. It allows you to uh, do a couple extra things or more things than what Socrative does, and so uh, pluses and minuses uh, to, to each of them. But you'll have your room ID, and so your room ID, mine is 48657, that always stays the same. Um, unless I were to create a new account, obviously, it'll, it'll be different, but as far as I'm logging into that, this single account, this number will stay the same. And what students will do then is students will go to the same thing, Infuse Learning, but they'll go to the student login, which actually ends up being um, student.infuselearning.com. And then what they'll do, I'm just going to pull up both of these here. And so here's my teacher dashboard, and this is what the students will see. What the students will do is they'll go here and they'll type in the... Um, well, the first thing that you need to do is that I found uh, works the best. Sometimes if you don't start the class, um, then it won't, for some reason, uh, go. And so start the class and then have the students go in and to put in their ID and their name. And then hit submit. So the room ID is the 48657. Student logs in, and then it's waiting connection successful, waiting for activity in the room. Then what the teacher will do is, so you can build this into your PowerPoints or into your lecture or uh, just orally in the classroom. You know, you could say, the sky is blue, true or false, and then students can answer, true or false. Students would hit submit. Again, it comes back to your um, board like this or your device like this, so you can start seeing um, the results live in your classroom. So a formative assessment, very easy to use, is, uh, you know, can I move on, yes or no, true or false, A or B, whatever, and uh, you can move on or not move on. And then you can actually dig in and actually see how each student um, answers. Uh, you can also... Uh, so you can see whether or not uh, who got it, who didn't get it, things like that, if you so choose. Now, I want to obviously display this on a board, but uh, what I would do is have it maybe on my iPad or um, my board uh, off or on a separate computer laptop so I can see who is getting it and who is not getting it. You can also see who is answered, who is not answered, as everybody will that's in will show up here. And so you can see that, you know, if I make it bigger here, that you can see that the full name I'm grayed out, meaning I've answered the question. Now I need to answer a different question. I click back on the home button, and then I go, basically, I can go to uh, the cool one here is the draw response. And so I can say, you know, draw me a picture of Abraham Lincoln. Okay. So a kid would draw their picture, and I used to do, uh, like, vocab you know, something that represents Abraham Lincoln, okay? Now this is very primitive drawing, but it's, at least, it'll work. Okay, and so, student can draw it, and then hit this button right here, which will basically submit it to me. And now as a teacher, I can see all these images. So that's uh, pretty cool, I can actually, um, you know, if I really like one, hey, look at this, show the class, pretty cool. 
kind of a neat way to maybe do some vocab and some pictures with vocab. Um, draw me a picture of a, a term and then have each student do that. And then you can see, pull it up, see it. Um, you can also save, you can save these images to your computer, things like that if you wanted to. Okay, so we can go back. So the drawing piece is very cool. And the rest of them are just quick assessments that you can send out to your students, and, and they each have most of them have settings, so you can do your um, multiple choice here. If you only have three, you want them to respond multiple times, whatever you want them to do, true and false, I don't know, you know, whatever you want them to have there. And so you just have to the ones with the settings can go through and take a look at that. Now the interactive tools, what I can do here is with the interactive draw one, I can uh, maybe. I can put in a picture here. I can draw a picture. And so, for instance, in math, I can go 1 plus 1 equals. And what I can do is I can send this out to my students as well. And so they'll get 1 plus 1. And you know they can answer two, and if there's work to do, you know you can do your work or whatever you need to do, and then the student can submit it back to you. And so I can see what they did. And so let's do that one more time. So what we went under is interactive tools, and we went to infuse draw. Clicked on that. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear this, and uh, we're gonna do a question again. Um, so maybe it's a f finish the drawing. Now this is pretty primitive again. Finish the drawing. So we're going to ask, and we're going to ask to draw. And what they can do here is they can finish the drawing. And let's choose a different color, blue. And so again, finish the drawing submit that drawing and now as a teacher I can see that so kind of a neat thing to do with Infuse Learning they have the draw you can also do links and so for instance uh, I want to send a link out to Screencast-O-Matic to my students or, or a website I find a website I take that URL I copy it go back to my teacher dashboard and go to Infuse link and then I can paste this link in here and send that out and so what that will do is this will come on the student's devices. It will say click me and click me and it sends you to that link. So kind of